my involvement with the Glendale Pops Orchestra is what got me involved with the board of directors for Glendale Arts. Um, Glendale Pops Orchestra is now a committee of Glendale Arts. Uh, it gave us an opportunity at Glendale Arts to have some unique outreach both through performances and through uh, accessibility for the community. Most particularly with me, accessibility to children uh, and providing um, what some might think is slightly more hip than a symphonic type of orchestra. With Matt Kattengoob and the entertainers we've brought in and the more relaxed fashion that the musicians take, it, uh, that really plays into not only providing a, a new and now the only real orchestral outreach here in Glendale, but also a way for Glendale Arts to take advantage of a performance uh, venue or facility that is theirs, the Alex Theater, and uh, to provide access to people who, what we've learned, or what we've come to learn is when young people in particular are exposed, even through a pops type orchestra situation, then their mind opens up to all kinds of arts opportunities, both musical, visual, um, and, uh, and, and stationary art. My involvement in Glendale Pops Orchestra came in a very peculiar way. Some folks uh, associated with what used to be the Glendale Symphony Orchestra uh, had me as a guest speaker at one of their luncheons just to talk about motivational speaking. And by the time we were done, it's like, hey, let's, let's put our hearts and our minds together, let's save the orchestra. Well, after about 90 days worth of research, it didn't seem like that was going to be a path that was going to work. But I, I don't like to come upon a problem without some sort of a solution. And so we came up with a concept that was kind of an orchestra in a box. And it was a, a, performance, a performance group that came and did their first season as the Glendale Renaissance Orchestra. After working with the folks uh, at Glendale Arts and most particularly Elisa Glickman, we came up with an idea of, okay, we've had our first season, what do we need to do to make this what we really need it to be? And that's how Glendale Pops was born. And in order to make Glendale Parts Pops viable, what we needed to do was to marry with the Glendale Arts Group and take some of our interest in, and our new kind of attitude and become a, a working member of the Glendale Arts Board. So that's how my involvement started. Uh, my goals and desires was first and foremost to create a musical organization that would care about outreach, whether it be to students, whether it be providing you know, 700 tickets to students to attend our Christmas concert, or whether it just be to have the type of music that's more accessible to a younger audience. And a younger audience could mean 50 to, to, fi to five years old. The Christmas concert featured David Benoit, and that was very, very exciting because not only am I a fan of David's, but David exemplified the, the mesh of all tastes of music. And when he came and did our uh, not only our, our orchestral arrangement, but worked with what Matt Kattengoob and Elisa had formed in the Glendale Pops Youth Orchestra, the light went on that our outreach was really taking hold. And to see young people up there performing virtually flawlessly with only two or three rehearsals, that, that blew me away. Um, and so that's when in my heart I felt we really accomplished what we were, what we were trying to do with this orchestra and it's, you know, it's all downhill from here. A vibrant arts program is the heart and soul of a community. A community is not just buildings, it's not just business, it's not just tasks or accomplishments, but it's the way people go hand in hand to bring things, whether it's a new art museum opening across the street, a temporary art museum, or whether it's you know, filming that takes place at the Alex, and, and we get to say it when we see it on television, that's our Alex Theater. So I think it, it brings that heart and soul. But I also want to be a little bit more sterile now and talk about what the benefit is for business. Because it's not as warm and fuzzy. The benefit for business is more black and white. What I mean by that is, in every single community in the United States, and Glendale is no different, a vibrant arts community has a very practical result. And the practical result is between 3.30 and 7.30 each and every day. Crime is down when you have a vibrant arts community. And when you don't, crime is up. Now, that doesn't mean that people are all running down to Glendale Arts and, and to the Alex Theater between 3.30 and 7.30 every day. 
It just means that the attitude, the camaraderie and the community that is created by a vibrant arts program causes a higher level of respect in the community and a much higher level of respect in the community by our young people, by, by high school and middle school age students who see a value here. And the arts touch each and every person in a different way. It's the most unique thing that we have and I think that's what makes it so beneficial. So that from a business standpoint, while that's a nice thing to have happen, the practical thing is less crime is better for business.